Hey y'all, just wanted to go over a uh, sub $1,000 mobile welding setup. So, this is a Predator inverter generator, that's important. Uh, 45, 50 starting watts, 36, 50 running watts. That's good, works good. It's a 30 amp twist block, maybe. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. Uh, 30, oh, there we go. 30 amp twist lock, extension cord, ground wire, grounded. Follow the extension cord over here. It's a Flex 135 Pro by Yes Welder. It does stick and uh, flux core. Pretty decent little machine for 120 bucks. Um, and everything pretty cheap. Wire brush, hammer, clap disc. This, this gate, we're not done yet, but it's lunchtime. And uh, what I just do in this video works well, it's good and strong. Lined up. I just wanted to see if the hinge would handle the, the weight of the, uh, the full gate and then kind of see if we're going to have to move this or not. That's not the final position. You can see they're not perfectly lined up. But it's just a test fit. So. Alright, if you guys have any questions. So, this, real quick, this uh, top handle doesn't fit in this rigid box. top handle off and replaced it with some nylon webbing. Just took a soldering iron something through there. That's pretty good. Picks up easy. Uh, this is automatically set up for uh, uh, gosh darn it. Anyways, it's, it's automatically set up for flux core welding. Uh, your, your gun only hooks into the negative. What the heck is going on with you? Not a welder, so um, again, this it's an inverter welder, so you're gonna want an inverter generator and you're gonna want to ground it. Um, works pretty pretty good, it's got some some uh, quirks you got to figure out, but once you get them figured out, it works pretty decent. And I now have a power source for job sites and a $120 generator uh, welder that will. Uh, you know, let me do little projects like this and stuff at home too. So, thanks for watching. Uh, comment questions and whatnot, and I'll I'll see if I can help you. Thanks for watching.